So now let's dive into the two main types of sleep and why both are so important to us. First up is non-REM sleep, which stands for non-rapid eye movement sleep. During this phase, your heart rate slows down and your body temperature drops. This is your body's way of conserving energy and preparing for deep rest. Initially, your brain activity slows down significantly, but later, it produces large brain waves. This stage is all about physical healing and building up your immune system. It's also when your brain consolidates memories and integrates them into your neural pathways. Non-REM sleep dominates the first half of your night's sleep, setting the stage for recovery and growth. Now let's talk about REM sleep or REM sleep, which stands for rapid eye movement sleep. This is when you have the most vivid dreams and even some hallucinations. During REM sleep, your brain waves speed up, almost mimicking an awake state. But this phage is also crucial for emotional healing and boosting creativity. Have you ever woken up from a dream and feel like you've solved a problem or done something meaningful? That's the power of REM sleep. This type of sleep dominates the second half of your night's sleep, playing a vital role in cognitive function and emotional well-being. So, both non-REM and REM sleep are essential each taking turns to ensure your body and mind are well rested and ready to take on the day. This slide here is a great chart of certain body markers that differentiate between REM and non-REM sleep. Feel free to pause this video and look at it more thoroughly if you wish, because I think it's a really great chart. Ever wondered how scientists figure out what actually happens when we sleep? All right, let's break it down. Psychologists and researchers use several cool methods to measure and analyze sleep. One of the main tools is electroencephalograph, which is EEG. This device records brain electrical activity, or brain waves. By looking at these waves, scientists can see how our brain functions change during different sleep stages. Next up, we have the electromyograph, which is EMG. This measures muscle activity and tension. It helps researchers understand how our muscles relax or move while we sleep. Then there's electroencephalograph, which is EOG, which records eye movements. This is especially useful for identifying REM sleep, where our eyes move rapidly and the most dreaming occurs. In addition to these methods, Researchers often use other vital signs like heart rate, breathing rate, and body temperature. They might even videotape the person sleeping to observe physical movements and behaviors through a window. Now, there are four main stages of sleep that you should know, divided into non-REM and REM sleep. Let's explore each stage. When you're awake, your brain waves are very active, known as beta waves. But if you close your eyes, but remain awake, your brain activity slows down significantly. You then produce larger, irregular alpha waves. This state is a blend of relaxation and alertness. In stage two, your body starts to prepare for deep sleep. You become less aware of your surroundings. Breathing and heart rate becomes more regular. Eye movements stop and body temperature drops. The brain continues to consolidate the day's memories, however, but brain waves show mixed activity with brief bursts or higher frequency wave called sleep spindles. Stages three and four are the deepest stages of sleep, often referred to as slow wave sleep. The muscles here fully relax. The, the blood pressure drops and breathing slows. The body performs physical repairs. Then the brain consolidates all the memories and things you've learned. The brain activity slows down significantly, producing large, slow delta waves. REM sleep is when the most vivid dreams occur. Your brain becomes highly active, almost like when you're awake, as I mentioned before. 
Your body remains paralyzed to prevent acting out dreams. Breathing becomes faster and irregular, and rapid eye movement occurs, hence the name REM, rapid eye movement sleep. REM sleep is crucial for emotional healing and boosting creativity. You may wake up from REM sleep feeling as if you've solved a problem, and that's why. This stage dominates the second half of your night's sleep. So here's a chart for all the brainwaves in each stage. Again, feel free to pause here because it's really great information. Additionally, I put up some review questions on this slide. This time I'm forcing you to pause the video to answer the questions or just think about them yourself first. Okay, here are the answers. For the first question, what type of brain waves do you think a meditating person exhibits? The answer is alpha waves. What type of brain waves do you think a person exhibits when daydreaming? The answer to that is theta waves. The third question is, what percent of time do you think you spend in stage two sleep? The answer to this is 45 to 60 percent. And I didn't mention this before, but what percent of people do you think report never dreaming? The answer to that is 37 percent. That's a fun fact. So now, what do you think causes more road accidents? Driver fatigue or alcohol? The answer to that is fatigue, actually. So you should stay off the road if you're ever tired or just really want to sleep. 